It was mid-December. Mom, Dad, my brother, and I made the 30-mile trip from Warwick to Middletown on snowy roads. We looked forward to a short visit with Aunt Mary, with whom I'd spent many happy school vacation days. Unaware of the distress within, we approached Aunt Mary's house. Home from work, Uncle Bill answered the doorbell. We entered, eyes drawn at first, to a lavishly decorated tree fronting the picture window. But then we saw five-year-old Georgie, tears glistening on his cheeks, clinging to his mom on the Davenport. Aunt Mary lay there, writhing in pain. Uncle Bill prepared to drive to Horton Hospital, Aunt Jenny to stay with Georgie. Upset, we returned home. At five the next morning answering our phone, I was shocked to learn that Aunt Mary had passed away. Evidence of her love appeared on Christmas Day. Georgie tore into wrappings to find longed-for toys. I opened a pale green quilted sewing box with all accoutrements, gifts evoking fond memories. Before her pain became so severe, Aunt Mary had chosen Christmas gifts for all. No one was forgotten. Christmas is a special time of year. Not just for me, but for my husband, our family, and all of our friends. And we wish for everyone happiness and joy in our and your lives at this time of year.